Religion, The Real Matrix, the book based on African spirituality and mythology from ancient Kemet or Egypt. Written by author Heru Ifangbemi, the book shows that all Western religions, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam plagiarized from African spiritual systems to come up with their religions. Buy the book on Amazon. Link is in the description box. Let's go. Promote your brand here at Viral Hip Hop News. Hit me, Sam Ant, at dlsmediainc1 at gmail.com. dlsmediainc1 at gmail.com. Let's go. Great. Awesome. Absolutely. Yeah, appreciate that. Um, I don't know if you've seen the been a couple weeks now. The controversy of the Cleopatra movie on Netflix. They said oh, that up. I'm all up in that. Please, please <laughs> expound on that because One of the obviously, writers is my goddaughter. Oh wow! Ooh. Well, you got Egypt itself saying that they are they're shunning the film and they want to make it a lighter woman. Cleopatra was a yeah. lighter woman. They Egypt didn't argue famous. when Elizabeth Taylor played her. Mm. Right. Mm. But how are you going to argue when a black woman? play the role in a movie of a woman born and raised in Africa, mm. died in Africa. Those people who are now citizens of the country called Egypt, none of their ancestors was in Egypt. Wow. When that mm. happened. So these are little mm. light-skinned people, brown-skinned people, and white-skinned people. You were still running around Europe. Mm. In the days of Cleopatra, the Greeks were viewing themselves as a people of color back then. Yeah. Even. You should read history yeah. and find out who Clytus was. Alexander, the so called great bodyguard, who he killed in a drunken stupor before he was assassinated by his own generals for marrying a black woman and giving birth to their black son, all of whom was assassinated by the generals led by Thelemy mm. and killing their own great Alexander. And when he killed his black bodyguard, according to your own white literature, you said the bodyguard as he's dying, Fool that you are, you've killed your mother's son. So if his brother is black, what the wow. hell was Alexander? Mm. Ooh. I get that brother small, mm. you know? I read Homer's Odyssey and Iliad at a in the library of George Vanderbilt, you know? I'm well read in Greek literature. I've read Herodotus book two. It's all about the black people in Egypt. Wow. Plato, in his writing, Phaedrus, refers to the Egyptian, because that word Egyptian wasn't being used then. The Greeks referred to the Egyptians then as Ethiopians, baked in the sun, black skin one. Wow. And Plato said the Ethiopian gave the world all of its science. This, this is your boy. This is Plato. He's written this for posterity in his book called Phaedrus. And he said, we gave the world medicine, arithmetic, geometry, then astronomy. And he goes on, anatomy. And he said, but the greatest science of all that the Ethiopian gave to the world was the science of writing itself. This young man, this Plato. Mm. Don't go to Herodotus in his history of book two, because he said the very gods of Greece were brought from Africa by black birds, which was the phrase using for African priestess. Mm. So the Arabs really don't want to have this discussion mm. because then I have to take back the black Muhammad. Wahalehi mm. wa salam. Because when I was a Muslim imam mm -hmm. who went to Mecca, 
I was then El Hajj, a mean Shahid, who went before and was credentialized by the Rabat Alim El Islamim, which is the highest credentializing body there. Okay. And they acknowledge that the Prophet Muhammad wa alayhi wa salam was a child of Ethiopian black grand heritage. Wow. But they don't want to have this real discussion. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So mm. leave the little Cleopatra thing alone. <laughs> and because they got involved in it, my goddaughter sent me a, a text a couple of days ago. It came in as the number fifth most watched Netflix film in the world. So they gave us more publicity right. by trying to stop it. And I watched the whole thing. It's a fantastic movie. Awesome. Well, awesome. Acted, you know. Yeah. And like my daughter said, you know, they took out a lot of the black that the black writers put in there, but it was still black enough for you. Mm -hmm. It's an extraordinary story. Thank and the Thelemies, the Greeks who were in Egypt for nearly 300 years, mm -hmm. what do you think happened? Did you think they got lighter or did they get blacker? Mm. That's the majority of the people who they and their soldiers would marry were black women. And the British who found the tomb of the sister of Cleopatra just a few years ago have proven through DNA that her sister was African. So if the damn sister's African, what do we think Cleopatra was? Right. Wow. Wow. Now, Cleopatra the Seventh, I think, is who we are talking about. Is a Cleopatra is a title and not a person. Mm. And the particular Cleopatra we are talking about is the last in the line of that those who came through the family dynasty that was started by Alexander's general. Felony. But she's 300 years later evolving in Africa. So, what do you think he looked like? Right. And these people who are now calling themselves Egyptians, they are Turks from the Mameluk Turks who invaded Egypt, who came in as slaves, the Suljic Turks. Mm the Eastern European Serb who was enslaved for hundreds of years by the Turks. Wow. And the Ottoman Turks. These are not even Arabs who are now calling themselves Arab Egyptian. Hmm. So it would be well that they should leave the topic alone. Mm. Deep, deep.